Okay, let's look at the next one. 0 0.46 divided by 92. So I'm going to go back to my thing here. i got to be able to see it. It is 0 0.46 divided by 92. Okay, look what i got to do here. Okay, i got to, I have decimals here, but no decimals here. So i got to bring it over 1, 2. Here's my decimal. i got to do it 1, 2. Once I do it to one side, i got to do it to the next side. So I have no other option. What I do to one side, i got to do to the other side. So let's look at 46 can go into 9, 0 times, you get 9, bring down your 2. I can't do 46 and 92, so let me, I think it's twice, but I'm going to check. 46 plus 46 gets you 12, trade through 1, gets you 92, so it goes in it 2 times, 92, 0. Now you, some of you would be like, well, Miss Hine, you're done. No, you're not done. You have to bring down the 0. 46 can go into zero, zero times. Subtract zero. Bring down your other zero. Goes in at zero times, zero. Now I don't need to keep going because everything is going to keep being zero, but I wanted to work all the way to my decimal. The reason I kept doing it is I have to meet it all to my decimal. I can't be two. Because if it was two, it was 0 0.46 times two. That's 12, trade your 1, 8, 9, that's 9. But if it was just 2 and not 200, I count over two spots, and it would be 0.92. But that's not what I divided. I divided by 92, not 0.92. So I needed to make sure that I did it correctly. So my answer over here is 200. Okay? Let's look at the next sign. We're going to do 2.4 divided by 12.36. So here's my sheet. 2.4 divided by 12.36. Oh, decimals on both sides, gotta move them. Okay, I need to move it how many times? One time, that becomes 24. One time, not two, not to make it even. One time, what I do to one side, I got to do the other. So my decimal is right here between my 3 and my 6. Okay, make sure that's nice and dark for you. Let's do 12 goes in, sorry, 24 goes into 0, 1, 0 times. Subtract, you get 1. Bring down your 2. 24 goes into 12. 0 times. Subtract, you get 12. Bring down your 3. I don't know, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do repeated addition. Oops, sorry, not 98, 96. I'm glad I caught that. I know if I keep going, I'm going to end up going over 123. So now I'm going to count how many 24s I have. I have one. I have five. Five times 24 got me 120. I subtract, I get three. I still have to bring down my six. Even though there's a decimal there, I still have to bring down my six. This division steps is not going to change this because there's a decimal. The only thing you're going to change is going to be bringing it up. So now 24 can go into 36. Mm, one time. I get you 24. Subtract. You get 2. You get 12. I have a remainder of 12. I'm going to add an extra zero here to see if I can get an even number. I'm going to bring down your zero. Okay. Oh, I see 120, and I see that I had 120 over here, so I'm going to count my un up to 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It goes in at 5 times, 24 times 5, I said it was 120. When I subtract, I get 0, therefore my answer is 5.15. So up here, you're going to make sure you write 5.15.